him. Get up and crease him. Walk your hoes and crease him. Show this him and crease him. Give him glory, no. Give him that glory, no. Give him that glory, no. Give him that glory, no. I God, I God. Thursday night. It's best 100 FM. The program is War Room Thursday. It's a beautiful Thursday night in the Everglow. And we're here with you on War Room Thursday. Good night, each and every one of you. Welcome aboard. Is God good to you? Yes, yes, he is good. 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 All right, we want to go to heaven when I die. We go here when child on the road. Get something out here, get something out here. Oh, Jesus. Get something out here, baby. Grandma, rock 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 out here, baby. Church 
My life, my very soul. River Jordan and Road. What a beautiful night. It's Thursday night. We're at the fight. Seventeen minutes after nine o'clock already. The month of March almost finished already. But we're rocking, eh? We're rocking on. Have a gay Freeman, how are you? Point till on board, long time. Rock and praise in the man. Figure here in Chad and Roll. Good night. Welcome. All my peeps all across Jamaica and the world. Good night. Somebody's There's some people asleep on Thursday night. It's called No Sleep Night. And we're here with you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Where do we go? Let's go over here for this one for a long time. No more retreat. No more retreat. No, no retreat. No retreat. No surrender. Let's go. Taking back what was stolen from me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Your hands are anointed. Your hands are anointed. Clap them, the man. Your feet are anointed.
And welcome aboard. Up and down the clock, the line is open. Two seven nine eight four seven three. Two seven nine eight four seven three. The line is open on this war room Thursday. Where do we go tonight? Let's see what the Martin shall have in store for you. Chop off him head. Anybody feel warish? 
Warish. What the warrior them there? Two seven nine eight four seven three. My God, my Father. Ah, uh, my, 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 I'm telling you. All right, we're rocking away, we're rocking away. On this beautiful night in Everglade. My God, my Father. This walk is Jesus. The marshal is in town. And it is in town. Val is in town. My God, my father. Let's see who is in town. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, I have good news for you. What's it now? Oh, what? They come, they come. They come? They come, they come. They finally reach back at you? They finally reach. Wow, and it's good news. You're getting your assistance, please. Yeah, but wait. It's not going to be happening until next month. Uh -huh. Let me still me. It's not going to happen until next month. Next month is just around the corner. Is it not easy? It's coming, it's coming next month. <laughs> Apostle? Yes, Major One. How are you doing? I am well, I'm well. Bless God for you. Amen. And the team here, Sister Val. Soon say Missionary Val. Amen. Amen. Missionary, I mean, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. They're working for their, they earn their place. You know. Good night, Jamaica. Hello. What? Hello. Hello, good night. Martha and the Anish and Auntie Val. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nisha calling. Oh, while Kane locking in. My father, my father. Good night. Welcome, welcome, welcome aboard. God bless you. Welcome. We're happy to have you. My very life, my very soul. Your anchor. Your anchor. Come on, like and share the broadcast. Bring others in here. We see Reverend Thames over there on uh, what is that? Facebook. I'm at Facebook Max. Good night. Welcome aboard. My soul say yes. It's Thursday night. We're back with you from 9 to 12. Yellow, good night. You're live. Hello, good night. Lisa on board from Mandeville. Good night, Pastor Marshall. And bless your heart. Welcome. We had everybody crazy around tonight. We are the church of the living God. We are the church of the living God. I love to say that, you see. No, I just love to say that. There are many churches, you know. But how many church is the church of the living God? Reverend Tim say you must smile. <laughs> Reverend Tim, love our apostle. Amen. <laughs> good night, good night, good night. 
Oh, well, good night. Good night. Good night. Bless your very heart. Good night, Rev. Good night, Apostle Marshall and the Berkshire team. The two sisters, Sean and Bonnie, calling from Wakefield, Chilani. Wakefield, Chilani. Amen. Bless your heart. Welcome, Sean and Bonnie. Yes, Rev. Bless her, bless her, bless her yourself. You too. Every time of a great one. I want to send shout out to my family over there in South Manchester. Oh yeah, South Manchester. And then tomorrow, tomorrow night, we're coming through. Oh boy, what a time! Boy, we don't have time to scratch our head. Yeah, we're gonna bring Reverend. Yeah, we're gonna bring. Uh, Only Reverend Thames coming. Reverend Thames, you coming down? <laughs> we're coming to nine to to, to set up Reverend Thames. <laughs> No, yeah, we need Reverend Thames. Amen. We need you to come to uh, set up tomorrow, you know. South Manchester, we're coming, you know. Amen. We're coming to South Manchester tomorrow night. And then we're going to be officiated in the funeral service of the aunt of Apostle Marshall. It's going to be tomorrow. Saturday is the funeral. Those who want to make it uh, from Mandeville side and from other side. <laughs> Hey, Reverend James, come down. We put our trio. We sing, yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah, we bust up and mash up in nine night. Reverend James and and Apostle Marshall combination. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pastor, take your mic and oh, yeah. uh, wrap the house up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tomorrow night, South Manchester, watch out to the hard way. Yeah, we come to lock it and crack it. So all the massive over there in South Manchester, see you tomorrow night. And see you on Saturday at the funeral, okay? I want to say, once again, I want to say condolences to you and the family. Yeah. All is well, you know? Yes, sir. God of God every time. Amen. Hello, good night, good night. Good night, good night, Rev. Good night, Apostle Marshall. Bless you, bless you. Bless you. Work with us at the same time. All right, bless your very heart. I don't know how I'm going to manage tonight. I'm going to head on out because um, tomorrow morning. Good morning, good morning. Good, well, good night, good night. Good night, and good night, Pastor Marshall. Mm -hmm. Locking in, bless your heart, Westmoreland. <laughs> Bright and early in the morning, we've got uh, <laughs> our fish fry luncheon, uh, Easter barbecue luncheon in Mandeville. <laughs> and you know, we got some early orders to push out, so I'm going to be on the cooking early. <laughs> And then I hopefully, hopefully, will reach Top Hill and get some rest and then rock over there in South Manchester. Boy, I tell you, I got a busy day on tomorrow. Y'all got to pray for us, you know, we're, we're stretched. But we're loving it. My very life, my very soul, I tell you. Good night. Welcome aboard. Good night, Pastor. Good night. Bless yes, you. Good night. Bless up. Bless up. How are you? I'm blessed and charged. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm not all right. My husband passed away. Oh, that's not good. Until yeah. death does part, death does part your husband away from you. Oh, my. I'm sorry to hear. My condolence to you and the family. We pray your strength, pray your courage, and pray you, you, you're able to make it in this time of bereavement. All right? Well, yes, I need it right now. I need it. I know you do. To lose your partner this time is not easy. But remain strong. Yes, remain, remain courageous. God is with you. We got your luck. All right? Okay. Bless you very hard. You too, my dear. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. So many deaths, so many destruction, so many crazy things happening. Good night, you're locked to the breakthrough coming through.
Bless you. Welcome aboard. Cool, cool. Why you came in St. Anne? Cool, cool. Over the call? Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool in the night. Yeah, wow. That's nice. You know, we're in hot, hot Kingston. <laughs> bless you very soul. Bless you. Bless her, bless her. We got a lot to tell you on tonight. So many things happening our way, a breakthrough. Got to bring you up to date. All that is happening around breakthrough. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Good night, locking in. Welcome aboard. Hello. Hello. Good night to you. Good night to you too. Rev. Thank you. Good night, Apostle. Uh -huh. Good night, ladies in Christ. Oh. Good night. Um, I have a testimony. That's right. Roll it out. All right. Um. So it was December of last year when they were doing the morning meditation, and you were saying that someone is gonna get a promotion someone yeah. on the live is gonna get a promotion what now i guess that i you say um your boss gonna talk to you about it mm -hmm. this month but he's gonna promote you next year wow and like a couple minutes after you said that my boss called me while he was on the road and he was talking to me about a new position mm. and we discussed it and and he said, I'm going to create that position just for me. I said, okay. Hmm. So January, he called me again and said, um, tell me about the position. I said to him, remember, I'm going to Jamaica for one month. Hmm. He said, okay. When you come back, I'm going to create that position. However, when I was in Jamaica, I realized that the position that he was going to create, I was going to be like an assistant. The, the person that was the front runner, they fired that person. And he said to me, when you come back in the stage, I want you to apply for that position. Mm. And I did apply for the position. And thanks be to God, from Monday, I'm starting my new position in the company. Wow. And I was telling him, I said, I know I was going to get it because my rev prophesied. <laughs> no time after you called. Yes, sir. <laughs> So I'm not you know what your prophecy came through. To God be the glory. And I'm now a member of Breakthrough. Congratulations. Yes. What? Wow. There you yes, go. I have to let everybody know that your prophecy came through. Of course. Thank you very much for letting the world know prophecy has become yes. reality. What okay. a God, what a God. God bless you. Enjoy your new position. Good night. I will. God bless you. All the best. Good night, Apostle. I'll call you. Bless you. Bless your heart. Every time. Yes, sir. The position was prophesied. The boss created it. Amen. And delivered it. Oh, Jesus. Why y'all don't want to testify? Hey, there's a lot of testimony out there in Apostle. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who are a testimony, but them no one call and testify, man. Good night, good night. Good night, sir. How are you? Charge like a stick of dynamite. How are you? I am, I am wonderful. I am great. Praise Call God. Praise River. Praise River, Sister Gail. Praise your last time when I was still here. I know. Bless your very soul. There is, there is, was working for you. Yeah, one of this, one of this, one of the number now works. I just one number ring it. Bless, bless up yourself. Good to have you on board. Yeah. Bless you every time. So tonight is Thursday night. Tomorrow morning, Friday morning. Our road is to Mandeville and the fish fry barbecue over there. We'll be cooking up a storm jerk barbecue fish. Steam fish, yeah. fry fish, escapee fish, jerk pork. No, I mean, stew pork, some pork, nice pineapple, something nice, nice pork. And chicken, of course. 
week. So come on over if you're in the Manchester Mandible area. I'll be rocking the pots in the morning alongside uh, Missionary Jody, Missionary Walker, the Breakthrough Mandible Cooks. Please come and support us in Mandeville early tomorrow. Also on Monday, two days of our sail out. And of course, we need some folks on board to sell some to buy some tickets, of course, and buy some people some food. I think I gotta sell my 10 tickets on board here tonight. They're only 2,000 Jamaican dollars. So maybe one person can buy 10 tickets for me and support the cause. Also, tomorrow, Top Hill is in session. Fast delivering service over there in Top Hill, St. Elizabeth. And by the way, construction has begun down there in Junction. Yeah, for the uh, mega church in Junction. I shouldn't say construction, I should just say refurbish and extension. And of course, parts proceed of our lunch and tomorrow. We need a lot of folk, a lot of stuff, folks. We need a lot of things, a lot of materials. Somebody's asking how much for it. Two, only two thousand Jamaican dollars. So we need we need we need about ten a couple of people to buy about twenty tickets, yeah. I tell you, I think it's quick and fast online. We'll find some people who need the food to give them for you. Currently, four days on board. So we're getting ready to expand ministry in St. Elizabeth. Are you excited, Marshall? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. My God. Come on, yeah, nature. We're expanding. So oh, yes. I got a lot of work on my hand. Yes, sir. God is good, you know. Yes, yes. Sir. God is good. So we're expanding. We're, uh, the roof is uh, steadily, boy. It's technical, you know. Yeah. The guys, yeah, they told me they they have never put on a roof like that. It's very technical, but when it goes up, it's going to be very beautiful. Amen. Yeah, it's taking a lot for them to just make the um the steel the uh what you call it those iron. Yes. You see on the ground there. Yes, sir. They said, hey, man, it's technical. It's nothing like, I'm telling you, that building, there's nothing like it in Jamaica. There is one of a kind, my design. Yes. Just like the container church in Huntsman. Yes. There's nothing like it. It is, it is, it is literally a miracle church. Amen. Made out of container. Yeah. Without a fan. Mm -hmm. Cool and nice. Even in the hot Clarendon. Yes, sir. You're supposed to go in the Guinness Book of World Record. The only church made out of container. Mm. High end. Yeah? Yes. And don't carry a fan. It's cool. Thank you. And we're building a mega center. My design. I'm not an architect, but I've gotten the design. I am pleased of it. Man. I'm we're designing it. And it's going to be, that building is going to be crazy. So the guys, they are telling me, they said, this roof, no, 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 normal. And you see all the materials on the ground. I'm telling you. Those, are, yeah. So next week now. So they put up the stanchion, the framework to hold it. And then during next week now, they're going to put up all them high. And the big crane is coming. In. Yes. And they're gonna put up all of that, and then we're on our way to get our roof finished. Hopefully, they say by next month end, the roof should be done. Oh yes. Yeah. So we'll be started to plan August six. You know, I just want to, you know, man of God, tell the people, yeah, and our viewers, mm -hmm. you know, you must not be afraid. Yeah. To, to really, you know pour out yeah. and, and, and to give in the breakthrough ministry. Yeah. Because the vision is alive. And um, the man of God is doing a good work. Yeah, the vision is, is amazing. I'm telling you, man, you, yeah. you, you must you must you must encourage your family. Yes. You know, to to, to really partner mm -hmm. in the breakthrough ministry. Yeah. Because listen, you are investing in the kingdom. Yeah, we're kingdom people. And our and investment is yes, kingdom. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And yeah, and yeah. we are making preparation for the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, you have to I'm I'm asking you, I'm begging you to, you know, don't hold back. Don't hold back, yeah. 
give to the kingdom. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. That is so right. You know, when I look at Montego Bay and how we um we just went in, got the place, did the investment, and now the fruits are bearing in Montego Bay. I'm telling you, you can't hold back on God, you know. Hallelujah. And whatever God blesses you with, if well, I have learned this, and the scripture is right, if you are faithful with a little, mm -hmm. God will bless you with abundance. Amen. And, and you see how we, we are investors in the kingdom. Radio, television, and looking for opportunity to invest in property and setting up church and revival, the truck, everything. People wonder how I acquire all these things, you know? But you must know that when you give to the work of God, it's got to be used. We got to multiply. We got to turn it over. Because we're the church of the living God, yeah? So your seed of faith, your covenant seed and all them seeds. So now, we, 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 when, when you're in a position of apostle for a property, an expansion comes your way and you're able to move at it and don't wait. Yes. We're in a good place. Amen. You know, when, when God creates and open a door and you can run through it with everything you got. You know, just as how we acquire, and God is favoring us along the way. Hallelujah. Because, you know, people might think I have money. Yeah. But but oh, yes. for a businessman yes. who wants his money to look at the pastor mm -hmm. church and say, listen, we mortgage you this property for the work of the Lord. It's amazing. Amen. Pay as you go. Oh, yeah. And then we got some contractors that you know they they got, they just God sent. So we are we are a ministry that is growing and developing without any apology. So as we expand down there in top in Saint Elizabeth Junction, Mandeville, Portmore. I hear Reverend Tim says this now. I, I wish we we had our own place too. Soon, but soon. Oh yeah. I, I told it. her we're at our place. Hallelujah. We are at our and yeah. I know a lot of the folks in Portmore they get a little jitter and they hear that we are investing on the places and stuff. But we are at our place. Amen. And we're claiming that place. Yes. So at the end of the day, I'm not worried about Portmore. No. Because we're at our place. Hallelujah. It's a good place we're at. So we continue to be right there until God provides another way. That's where God put us. As a matter of fact, when I was searching for a place, that's where God sent me. Amen. And since God sent me there, it has been a blessing being there. So I have to wait on God for the next move. Oh, yes. Yeah, always. <laughs> Remember, we were searching in Montego Bay, couldn't find, and then God just opened the door. Yes. Same thing in Tapil. We were searching, searching, couldn't find nowhere, couldn't get it, and God just just, just drop a place. You know? Perfect. Hallelujah. So, so we, we, anytime you you prepare, mm -hmm. God God covenant with you, and God God says go, and sometimes it look a little weird, like it now work out, but uh -huh. you just be patient. Uh -huh. God will just open the way. Oh, yes. That's God, you know. He tests you. Yes. He makes you look, search. Yes. Then he just shows. The same thing with Clarinda. Yes. I went down there looking for property, looking for place. We claim a walk on a place, even put Oliver, and it wasn't the place. Oh, yes. while, 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 yeah. while I was leaving the place uh -huh. that I went to, yes. a man looked at me and said, over there. Yes. It's like an angel. I never see this man before, never see him again. Uh -huh. The man said, over there. Then he says, the owner for over there is around there. Yes. And over there is selling. And when he sent me and we found the man, the man said, well, we're praising God that a pastor has come finally. Yes, sir. And that's how we got Hunt Spen. Yeah. So God is just opening doors, opening ways. Amen. For anybody who is faithful with a few, oh, yes, man. God will bless you with a lot. Hallelujah. So all our bad mind and grudge break too. We just bless. It's just blessing. We don't itch, we don't stop. Yeah? Amen. What were you saying? Amen. Amen. I said, man of God, while the Lord is working, mm -hmm. 
We are waiting. We are waiting. Yeah. Hallelujah. While God is preparing yes. and opening, yeah, we, we are waiting. waiting. We are waiting. Well, last night we had our first street road meeting in Montego Bay, Catherine Hall. What a night that Apostle, you made me preach. You know, I was thinking about it, you know, <laughs> this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was saying that you have a responsibility. Yes. You know, when it comes on to this generation. Mm -hmm. Because the evangelical office. Yeah. Nobody want to occupy that office. Mm -hmm. The apostle, the prophet. We have a few teachers leave. We have a few pastors leave. Yeah. We have plenty apostles and plenty prophets. Yeah. But I was, you know, meditating man of God. Uh -huh. the, 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 the office of the evangelist. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, I'm telling you that nobody want to be in that office. <laughs> and, you know, man of God. Yeah. I'm not coming out of that office. You are the man yeah. that is for the time. Mm -hmm. No, you are the man. Mm -hmm. Nobody can deny you yeah. in this generation. My God. You are the, the evangelist of the time, mm -hmm. man of God. You, 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 anywhere you go and set up something, if it's even a, a little shock, Yes. God will move My mightily. God. My God. So, man of God, mm. I am hearing, you know, some messages yeah. on the road. My God. When preachers go out and say they are evangelizing, <laughs> and it's prophetic message. <laughs> they are not carrying the gospel, My God. preaching the evangelical message. Man of God. Mm. So when I'm hearing these young preachers, they are not carrying the gospel in their belly. My God. I'm talking about preaching hardcore evangelism message. Uh -huh. Man of God. We're not hearing that. We are hearing everything else. Because even the the the, the, the you know the the the, 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 uh, the the young people that is, you know, and the you know, some young preachers that is on the media, yeah. you know, going out and they have plenty of followers. We're not hearing them. The hardcore evangelical message, we're not hearing that coming from them. We are hearing prophecy. We are hearing prophetic utterance. Mm. But we are not hearing the true gospel being preached. And Timothy says, Paul says to Timothy, Come now. in 2 Timothy 4, verse 4 and 5, mm. and they shall turn away their ears mm. from the truth oh God. and shall be turned unto feebles. But watch thou in all things endure affliction. Mm. Do the work of an evangelist. All right. Make full proof mm. of thy ministry. Wow. And man of God, when I hear you last night, <laughs> When I hear you last night releasing the gospel, I said, Lord, there's hope. Mm. There's hope My God. for the evangelist. <laughs> because the, the raw gospel being preached and God moves. My God. This is what God needs now. He needs some evangelists to rise up. Yes. To rise up. Mm. We have enough apostles and enough prophets, pastors and teachers, but the evangelists. That will go out there and gather the, because we are in trouble in a preacher, man. Serious trouble. There's a harvest, but there's nobody to reap it. My God. Yeah, it's tough, but um there's one thing I have not and I will never lose touch of. Yes. And I have I have been very, very, very determined about it. Yes. No matter how prophetic I become. Yes, yes. Yeah. No matter how much bishop i become yes doctor i become yes and you notice unlike many others i don't focus on doctorate and an apostle i am an apostle yes, yes. i'm an ordained I apostle have, everybody <laughs> i'm an ordained bishop yes, yes, yes i'm ordained i have a doctorate oh yes in divinity 
But I don't walk around with all them titles. No, 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 no. I'm Prophet Mark Stewart. Mm -hmm. I'm Bishop Mark Stewart. Yes. I'm Dr. Mark Stewart. Yes. But I don't walk around with all them tigers on my forehead. There's one thing I would walk around with. And that's where I start and that's where I'll finish. I'm a disciple. I'm a servant. I'm an evangelist. Everywhere in the world I've gone. Oh, yes. You know? Many preachers and people are surprised at the way in which I remember when I was in um, Philadelphia. Yeah. Good night, Philly. Good night, Bren Mars. Good night. Good night, Greater Glory. And the evangelistic was heavy. Yes. And the souls turn in. Even the other day when we were in UK and it looked challenging and we yes. had to go buy a pool and get it ready. And at first we wondered if we, re at one time I was saying, are we going to buy the pool and nobody? Mm. And in just two days we got eight persons. Yes. Now the people in UK said, these things don't happen. In no. Years, months, it don't happen. Yes. So. I've gone to a lot of places and created history. Yes. I've gone to Bronx. They made a pool. We get people. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. You have the grace. So that's the call. You see, also, you see, I, I got to let folks know. We got to let them know. You got to walk in your calling. Amen. And what you're anointed to do will make room for you. Hallelujah. What you, I'm going to say it again. Yes. What you're anointed to do will make room for you. Yes. yes. Stick to your calling. Amen. I can be, I, I can just live. A lot of people, hear what the problem is, Apostle, with many preachers. Evangelism don't put a lot of pro prophetic money in their pocket. Mm. Because here's a generation who has itchy ears. Yes. And so you have to be prophesying to them and uh -huh. telling them what God is saying and yes. what God is not saying for them to, to release. Yes, sir. So a lot of people rather to be prophet because prophet gives them uh, earnings. But evangelistic calling yes. for soul winning does not come. You see, notice last night I was very tentative, not even thinking about doing any offering. Why? Yes, yes. Because when I go there to evangelize, I don't want people to think like how oh, they've been thinking about preachers and church coming. Yes. So I leave that out of the equation because I wanted to captivate the people's mind yes. and not having nobody think about offering, mm -hmm. but to think about their salvation. Yes. And their soul, because that's the thing about the generation we have. Once you talk about money, there's there's got they're gonna be hang ups and problems or they come for money. You know, so we gotta hammer the gospel. So a lot yes. of preachers can't do that. Yes. Because everything they do, they gotta earn mm -hmm. because they look at how do we earn from this. So they're first they're, there's churches that um that I don't go and I don't support because if I do, they're looking at how much I can make for them. They're not looking about how many souls I can win for yes, them. Yes, yes. They look about how many, how much money I, Mark Stewart can bring to them. Yes. Because I bring people, I bring crowds. So with that, some preachers think when they invite me, they're thinking about how much money they can make yes. and get from me. Mm -hmm. You know, because you notice when I used to go to Rise of, they, they, a lot of times when I go to churches, the only thing people want me to do is to collect money. I have a grace for it. Have a, there's a lot of preachers who will preach and people will not give and respond. But when I preach and I release, people respond. Amen. Even here online, when we declare something, people respond. Mm -hmm. And a lot of preachers will wonder and, and cuss and say, boy, we love money or whatever. But when you have a grace for something mm -hmm. and people realize the naturality of that grace, mm -hmm. people will respond to it. Yes. And that's what is happening with me. And a lot of preachers cannot comprehend the fact that uh, and they would want to use me yes, because they yes. can't do what I can do. Yes. So that's why I, I don't allow myself to go in here anywhere to be used by any preacher these days because so if, if you're not looking for souls, you're looking for money, don't call me. Come on. Yeah, don't call me because I'm not, number one, I'm not broke. I'm not poor. Jesus. I'm not desperate. Hallelujah. And that is one of the things where with Christianity, it's not bossy with bossy. But when you work hard and God put you at a good place, Hallelujah. and at a best place, yes. you can serve God, relax it. Hallelujah. So you know, if you have to stress yourself about overheads and incomes and whatever, because God, every day, God is turning it around. Yes. And, and I'm an investor. 
Mm-hmm. And based on my investment, I know where my income and everything's coming from. I'm like Abraham. He was an investor. Isaac, Jacob, these guys were farmers. These guys got animal. They were investors. David was an investor. Mm-hmm. Solomon was an investor. Yes. And anytime you're an investor, you invest time. Yes. You invest effort. Yes. You invest your your knowledge uh-huh. and the wisdom God give you. A lot of Christian yes. is broke and poor because they're not ready to invest yes. in the kingdom and in themselves. Yes. Yes. They don't look for opportunity to turn over what God has given them to make something of themselves. So people say, I'm a bossy. Mm-hmm. I'm a rich. I may have money. But they don't see how hard I get up and work every day yes. to get where I am. And so when I had, when I come to a place of comfort where I can now declare God's word without worrying about my pocket uh-huh. or worrying about my night dinner because I know that's going to be provided for, then I can preach gospel. Amen. But are you getting what I'm saying? Come, Major. But a lot of these preachers cannot preach gospel because they have to preach something that will put on their part. Yes. That will give them a night dinner. And the gospel don't do that. Amen. So God will bless some of us to be at a place where we cannot do anything but do what he wants us to do because he already take care of and supply our need. Amen. Thank God for where I'm at. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> How exciting. Man of God, verse 4 says, And they shall turn away yeah. their ears uh-huh. from the truth My God. and shall be turned unto feebles, wow. man of God. Mm. So you see, you are saying the right thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Because the preachers have turned away from the truth, which is the gospel. Yeah. And begin to preach a different kind of gospel. Yeah, because again, the people are pushing them to it because that's what the people want to hear. Mm. The people don't want to hear repent. Uh. They want to hear when they're going to get blessed. Mm. So a lot of people who go to church now don't go for the gospel. They don't go for their salvation. They're going for miracle, breakthrough, healing, deliverance. They're not going for salvation. A lot of people are going to church. All of them are dead. All of them want the healing. They don't want Jesus. They don't want salvation. So people like us, who God has set up in this way, we cannot disappoint God. We have to hammer the gospel. We have to go out there and preach it. One of the things we also got to do is set the church in order. Hallelujah. All right. Apostle, do you know a lot of preachers are afraid to set their church in order? Oh, they yes. They don't want to lose nobody. Come on. Come on, Major. Because it is so easy to lose, to lose church members because they have option. Yes. It's hard to discipline them. It's hard to, to guide them, uh-huh. to lead them. Yes. Because they got options. Uh-huh. They'll tell you they don't have to stay here. If you talk to them too hard, tell them the right thing, try to correct and scold them for wrongdoing, they're ready to go next door. Yes. Because Christianity is one of the only religions where people put their hand up and say, I got option. I don't have to stay here. I can go over there. Mm. Yeah? But the Lord told me there are a lot of disobedient people in church. Oh, yes, sir. A lot of stray sheep. Uh, they're going astray and even when the shepherd tried to guide them they don't want to be guided and these are they that is going to fall away the bible said the devil will warm his way into the church a place of god a place where god loves and will pull many out oh yes sir. many will be deceived you know why uh-huh. because they will be led astray by their own inclination strangers not to want them. to be corrected strangers yes. lead them out will lead them out Every Christian listening to us right now, if you're in a good church, anchor yourself. Hallelujah. And let me say it again. Every believer right now, every Christian person, if you know you're in a good church and a good place, anchor yourself. Yes. Because the wind is blowing. All right, Major. Every, yeah. every wind of doctrine uh-huh. is being blown yes. about right now. Yes. And I want to say it again. Because we're not just pointing to breakthrough ministry. And that's one of the great things about me. Last night, we had some people there who were ready to recommit their lives to God. We, we first thing we asked them, do you have a church? They said, yes. We, we didn't tell them they had to come to Breakthrough. We said, go back to your church. Yes. So we're not the only church. Uh-huh. There are churches out there. But I'm saying to all believers tonight, listen, hunker yourself. If you're in a good church, the why why am I saying this, Apostle? Come here, John. Because Jesus said, Peter, you are Peter. Uh-huh. And upon this rock, Jesus. I build my church. 
and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So if you are hunkered on the solid rock, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. If you're in a good church, don't let no, no crow, don't listen, don't let no dogs, don't let no spiritual snakes and serpents come and pull you from your place. Anchor yourself right now in God, right now. Anywhere you find yourself and you know you're at a good church, there might be problems there. There might be situation there that need to be solved, dealt with, prayed about. But I'm telling the believers right now in this time and season, anchor yourself. Amen. Um, and that sounds like a service. Oh, yes. On it. Yes. Anchor yourself. And, and, and Major, Lord Jesus, yes. you know what the Lord, the Lord, uh, about two days ago, uh -huh. the Lord was speaking to me concerning the, the, the believer. Yeah. You know, they're not listening to the voice of the shepherd. No. And, 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 and the voice, man of God, of their, of their prophet. My God. You know, and when you fail to listen to the voice mm. of your shepherd, yeah. man of God, and the prophet, you will go astray. My God. Jesus says, listen, man, you will follow strangers. And a lot of persons, they are following strangers. Aye, aye, aye. Man of I God. know the storms are raging, yeah. but hunker yourself. The billows, the seas rough, the ship want to sink. But hunker, Lord God, I need to find this song. I feel preaching. All right, go on, preach. <laughs> Come on, Major, preach. Oh, God, will you hunker home? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we run away, let, 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 us, let me just quickly give you some notices and some information that you need to know what's happening at Breakthrough coming up. Amen. As we say tomorrow, bright and early, when I leave here, I'm heading, we're heading down. We're going to be having a great time cooking out in Mandible tomorrow. Going to be powerful. Topping is on tomorrow. And of course, Saturday, as I said before, is the funeral service for Apostles Aunt. We're going to be there, over there in South Manchester tomorrow night. And of course, on Saturday, officiating that funeral over there. And then Sunday, Big Fort Sunday of the month of March, I'll be in Portmore. Definitely, we'll be having a young uh, Joshua Stewart in the building. It's going to be powerful. All our churches service at 10 a.m. you got to find a breakthrough. Let's have a great time in the Lord. Easter is coming up next weekend. Of course, we have our Good Friday services in all our churches. In Montego Bay, it's going to be in the afternoon and the evening. Huh? And next weekend, of course, Apostle will be heading all over over there in Bahamas. Where is he? Where are you going? Grand Bahamas. So please look forward for. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, sir. I will be in Nassau. Nassau. Yeah, with uh, Prophetess Patrice Smith. Yeah, Prophetess Patrice Simmons. Over there. Hey, Amen. Apostle is not leaving. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. just going to few preach. Days. He's a few days. A couple, few days that he'll be back. Right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So watch out, Bahamas. Nassau, Bahamas. The Apostle Marshall is heading your way. We're excited that he's uh, touching down once more in Bahamas. Oh, yes. What a time it's going to be over there. Amen. So please find the place, Apostle Patrice. Uh, over Prophetess there. Patrice Prophetess, Smith. Prophetess Patrice Smith, yeah. Yes, yes. Over there in the Bahamas. It's going to be awesome. All right, so from the Bahamas, we're here. We're going to have a convention, Good Friday service, and then um, Easter Sunday service. Easter Monday, we're meeting in Breakthrough Portmore Mega Center for our Easter Monday convention. It's time to hush them out. Everything that is affecting our land and our nation, Major. it is time to usher them out. What a time. I said it is time. I hear you. It is time. I hear you. To usher them out. I hear you, Major. Thank God Almighty. We're going to cry. We're going to bawl. We're going to scream. We're going to pray. We're going to have one of the greatest time in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Um, we're going to have our young English preacher amen, amen and many others with us yes and it's going to be powerful holy spirit so what a time we're looking forward to our oh, easter monday
get ready for port tomorrow. It's going to be mega. God, nice. Buses will be leaving from Montego Bay, from Mandeville, from Clarendon, from Topping, St. Elizabeth, from all over. May they make your way to port more. 1,000 strong. Get yourselves ready for what God is going to be doing. So Apostle is going to be at, uh, it's April 2 to April 7, um, uh, nightly service at 7.30, Sunday service 10.30, amen, and um, Kingdom Explosion Ministry International uh, on Jerome, let me see, Jerome Avenue in Nassau, Bahamas. Yeah, All right, contact okay. number 428-4281. The area code is uh, 242. Yeah. Yes. 242, the area code over yeah, there. Yeah. Nassau, Bahamas. Make sure you're there. It's going to be powerful. Amen, amen. All right. We're going to be having a prior breakfast that's coming up on Huntsman next Saturday, I think. Yeah. Spiritual Transformation of Women in Zion, Prior Breakfast, Venue Huntsman, March 30, 2024, 9 a.m. sharp, $2,500, and it's going towards the Roof Fund down there in Huntsman. Apostle Dr. Georgia uh, Jackson is going to be there, Trudy and Blake, uh, very uh, menu, sorry, various, various variety, options of different course of breakfast is going to be super entertaining by Trudy and Blake uh, guest speaker Apostle Dr. Georgia Jackson what a time is going to be Huntsman Clarinda 9 a.m. sharp prior breakfast down there in Huntsman on the 30th make sure you come and support it's going towards our roof fund and of course we want to sell some tickets on uh, of this prior breakfast on Sunday morning definitely we'll do that uh, tonight, we want you to buy some tickets for the one in Mandeville that's coming up on tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be awesome. All right. What am I missing? Remember, we got our Bible drive happening under the auspices of Breakthrough Port Tomorrow with Reverend Cathy and Thames. Dennis is happening. And of course, we'll be receiving some Bibles and we're looking forward to getting more Bibles. So if you if you know how we can get some good Bibles, remember to join us. Get get us going. Get us going. Get us going. Also, we got to tell the folks in in uh, Sabana Lamar, all the people that is listening us, to us in the deadly city, or the deadly town, or the deadly parish of Westmoreland. There's a clarion call for Westmoreland on Wednesday the third of. April at 6 o'clock, 5.30, 5.30, o'clock. We're touching down over there in Sigrid Street, right of our outlet office in that open space. All the people in Westmoreland, come on out for your prayer, healing, deliverance, and salvation. Westmoreland, Sab Lamar, the war is on, but we got to trust God. So look out for me and the Breakthrough team and the Montego Bay Church. We're heading your way on the 3rd, Wednesday the 3rd in the afternoon. In the evening, right there in Sablamar. All the people in Westmoreland, Sablamar, yes, yes. make your way on the 3rd to join us at their Sigrid Street, right behind the Water Commission and the Police Station. Look for the big palm tree and walk towards it. We'll be right there under the big palm tree on Sigrid Street in Sablamar, 6 o'clock. On the 3rd of April, make a date, don't be late. Make your way down, Bethel Town, Darliston, all them areas, come on down. Darliston, we need to go Darliston, you know. We promise to bring the road train to Darliston. Amen. When, and, when you come back, anything you say major, the When start. you come back, we, we're going Darliston. Oh, yes. With the road train. Darliston to Bethel Town. Yes. Yeah. As you call the shot, we're gone. Oh, we're going to take all them killings and murders in Westmoreland. We're coming to Westmoreland to, with what is called Operation Ceasefire. Yes. Operation Ceasefire. Reverse the order. Usher them out. Oh, Westmoreland, Sablamar. Come on. I have a brethren up there in Dallas, the one that runs the park. 
What's his name again? Give me a call. I think I gave him. I'm going to look for his number. Call him. Uh-huh. We're going to get that park up there, the, the taxi park up in the Dalliston. We're going to ride the truck up in there. Very soon. Hey, are we can do it tonight? Oh, yes. While Mark Golden Tra- <laughs> While the Prime Minister of Jamaica and his cabinet is <laughs> I have to laugh. No, sir. 14 man run 40 odd man out of out 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 the, 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 the God knows. They don't look good. No, sister. No, man. Andrew, why you do it? You're the prime minister. How how, how you met the man and run out of your house? How you met the man them run? <laughs> look good. No, man. You don't look good. The hist- some historic things are happening with this government, you know. Yes. The government, 40, what, 41 to 14? Mm-hmm. And the 41 people <coughs> take with themselves out upon us. Lord of mercy, Mark, what you do? I've never seen this in the history. I thought it would be your opposition who walk out. Mm-hmm. But the prime minister led... He walk out of his own house. Man, are you walk out of your house? What is this? I can't be. <laughs> this is this is crazy. You have your house that you lead. Yes. You and your wife. And somebody come in the house and talk about your wife. And you and you walk out of the house. It not look good. Hi. <laughs> anyway. That tells that you. You're losing. No, it's serious. You're losing authority. It is serious. I want to say something. There have been more people killed in Jamaica, accidents and murder, more than those killed in the one month in the riot and the civil war unrest in Haiti. Mm. Mr. Prime Minister, I wonder if he addressed anything with Haiti in his speech today. How is it that you're so caught up in what is happening and ready to send people, soldiers and all, and you're so caught up in what is happening in Haiti, but you cannot stop what is happening in Jamaica? I said there are more people murdered last month and this month, this Mm -hmm. month as a matter of fact, in Jamaica in one week than the amount of people killed in Haiti in what they're having over there. And our Prime Minister is here putting new commissioner creating space for the old one and making space for the new one while jamaicans are being slaughtered what is happening how is it that you have your nose your head and your hand in haiti but you cannot stop the massacre in Jamaica. What kind of prime minister cannot protect his own country, but trying to help protect another country? I don't understand. I don't understand, Mr. Prime Minister. Future, step away from your... But I'm glad Mark G and the crew went in today. Yes. Yeah. Because I heard Andre and others were saying they should boycott. But no, that would be childish. They have a responsibility, even though they're a small number, outnumbered, to sit in there and represent the people they represent. And I I, 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 I try to get a message on to them, literally, as the Lord spoke to me. Yeah, definitely. And they, they went in, sat down. I don't know how it went. Um... But um, I know they went in. They went in late, but they went and sat in there. Yeah, that's what. That's what. What, what I'm happy the opposition did that because if they had not gone there, it would look bad on them too. Yes, it's a buzzard presentation. Don't don't you don't. Sometimes you have to beat the enemy at their own game. So when they expect you not to show up, you show up in their yes. face. Yes, that's how you fight battles in their face. So I'm happy that they 
they went in sat and um yeah 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 it shows it shows it shows the greatness and and the shift is happening i'm not political i'm prophetical if there's such a word so they went and sat in there and they suck up everything that mr badman bro god had to offer today and that was good yeah they show guts that's what we want we don't want no runners we don't want no 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 little sissy applying banana cost and show that people always have around this cut no man Mm -mm. but to god be the glory but here's the question how can a government not being able to protect its citizens my god we're trying to get people together and arranging meetings and doing I, I, i'm gonna tell you why yes can i tell you why come major tell me <clears throat> i've said it already and i've said it again the prime minister of canada and the prime minister of jamaica has been given a mandate one controls the Americas and one controls the Caribbean. Andrew Holness and Justin Trudeau has been selected as the two men. Do you know that Justin Trudeau right now is probably more powerful in the Americas than, than, than um, the president of America? You know why? Mm -hmm. The UN has him, mm -hmm. has their man, Andrew Holness, Justin Chu, come on, don't make those nice of um, Are those two leaders mm -hmm. who have a mandate mm -hmm. to carry the United Nation and the Rockefellers mm -hmm. and the evil world order plan to 2030? Yes. The reason why the prime minister is becoming so angry and is shaking is because he thought he would have had a smooth run in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And we saw how he handled the pandemic to the T according to the WHO. Yes. Right? Everything was what the WHO says. Mm -hmm. The Prime Minister of Jamaica is a puppet to the world order. What are you saying? Yeah. He's working for them employed by them and so the jamaican people must know that the only way to stop him is to ask god to move him yeah. hallelujah and so because we've been praying and drawing the plumb line and seeking god it is break it is putting him in a very uncomfortable position is you see one of the reason why the election the local government election, something as simple as that, it wasn't general, was put in that kind of repute is because when they when he recognized what was at what was happening, he thought it would be easy. But when he recognized on the day and in the week leading up to a week or two, when he made the announcement, they recognized what they were up against. So you notice he went out campaigning. Even in the wee hours of the morning, he was out there trying to get. No prime minister does that in a local government election because he know what is at stake, that he couldn't lose and he shouldn't lose. Because once he begin to lose these seats and these places, he's going to have to answer to those who have him as a puppet because he has promised them to carry out the plan from the 2030 plan. But you, you, you are major. So when his wife. Yeah. Go downtown. Mm -hmm. And down there try what she had try. Yes. And him. Up there so with the mother. And they were working feverishly. In the few days. Trying to win back the local government. Yeah. Because if they lose it. Mm -hmm. They're in trouble with those who they answer to yeah. remember you know all of these politicians that he has half of them america has their ticket in. oh yes mm -hmm. so if once they lose and they're out of power they're going up like dodo yeah 
You turn in but yeah, yes. a barter is a barter thing. Yeah, deliver what we ask, and you stay in power. If yeah. you don't deliver, you're in trouble. So remember, how Satan work. Mm -hmm. When Satan have you, Satan make you do things for him. You know? Yeah. If you if you're not able to do it, Satan kill you. you know? Yes. So he knows his back is against the wall. If he does not deliver for the world power, all the money that they have given him. And, and and all the money they have showered him with to buy Jamaica, if it doesn't work, he's in trouble. You see, when you join Illuminati, when you join large, when you join these organizations, and they shower you with blessing, with money, to carry out their evil work, if you do, if it don't work, you're done. Enough. And he knows that. Oh, yes. And his government. So right now, there is, you don't even know what is at stake. You see the election coming up? Mm. <laughs> He's not supposed to lose it. Because if he lose the plan that he and the powers have for Jamaica for 2030, the needs, all of them stuff. If the new government comes in and decide we're not going with all of these things, then the plan is going to derail. Yeah. And that's going to put him into problem. So he has to do everything in his power to ensure he carry out not Jamaica's vision, not Jamaica's plan, but the world order plan that he has been selected and elected, put in power to carry out. He has no choice. The prime minister of this country and his government is not working for Jamaica. They're working for the world powers. Yeah. Yes, Jamaica. Jamaican people has been bought, sold. Let me tell you something. When a prime minister like Andrew Holness know the culture of Jamaica and know the God we serve in this country and went and signed the Samoa Agreement, we know this man is not in the interest of Jamaica. Because you're bringing sin, disgrace, sodomy, and destruction to the country. But he has no choice than was to sign that Samoa agreement where other nations of the world are forced to sign because he has already signed in himself and the country to be part of this world, this, this, this one world order which include the fact that all countries must come under these groups and these things, and you have to sign these orders. So when the Prime Minister signed the Samoa Agreement, he signed Jamaica over to Sadami. Mm -hmm. He signed our children over mm. uh, to these people. You know. My God. He signed away Jamaica to evil. You know. Yes. And it's not a matter if he wanted to do it. He had to do it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. A lot of Jamaican people don't know the reason why we are saying we are not political. We're looking beyond. Situ we're, not, we're not the people that might jump up and down in a bundle, in a hat, and in box food, and hat and shower and power and blow, and blow gozella and jump up and down in a bus. You know? We are the people who look with critical minds and eyes and read between the lines and look at the critical things that are affecting the country. And are we on a like, we are talking on a behalf, and a little idiot, them we get a little box food, and a little money in them pocket, and a little ganja, and a little liquor, them not, them not, know, them not have a clue what are going on in Jamaica. Until their back is against the wall, and they really see what they're up against, when it's going to be too late, then they're going to say, oh, them money I did attack you. You see the summer agreement? Yes. Up to yesterday, I was in, when we were at the, at the, the crusade there last night, a policeman came to me. He's a Christian. He's a, that big man that you see standing under the place there. Yes. He's, he's not a normal man. He's, he's, a, he's a top police guy. Yes. And he came to me and he said, Preacher, I, I, you know, he was giving his appreciation and everything. And he alluded, he said, why am I not hearing more preachers talking about the Samoa agreement? And why am I not hearing your colleagues 
and preachers joining with you talking about some of the critical things that the government has done that is going to affect Jamaica so bad that they wish they were in another country. And he says, don't stop talking about these things. Because a lot of people think that being a preacher, you must not address or talk about the things that are affecting the people's life. But true men of God, look and see what is happening and educate and bring the people's eyes to openness and show them what they're up against. And a lot of Jamaican people cannot appreciate preachers like us who tell them the truth until something happens. Your government has signed this country over to the world powers. And that's why he has to put the needs in place. That's one thing that he must. And if you notice, no matter what, he's still pushing, even with opposition. But you see the why? Move. Because he has to bring yeah. every Jamaican into that system, yes. into the system. They're pushing the AI and everything. You see, here is why they want to prison Donald Trump. And here is why we must remove Andrew Holmes. Yes. Because if we do, if you don't remove Biden and you don't remove Trudeau yes. and you don't remove Andrew, then all of these men who the world powers has already elected and selected to carry out the plan. Why do you think why do you think is happening in England? Mm -hmm. They kill the queen. They're gonna move the, the king was in succession. So they put him in power for a short time, but it's not him they want. They want to get David up there. Yeah. The young man who they can use. They don't want to use a king. He's old. They didn't want the queen. She's old. Yeah. So the queen has to go. The king comes in, but he is now going. He has to go. Slowly they're killing him. Then they're going to bring in the young man now. And then they're going to set him now to set to fix England. Just as though they have Jamaica Prime Minister, Canada Prime Minister. And now, so if, if, if a man like Donald Trump comes in with him crazy head, they cannot control him. So if they, they don't want him, and I'm telling you, he he can't be stopped. Mm -hmm. But the only way they, they, they feel like right now they're going to be able to is either prison him or kill him. Yeah. Assassinate him. Mm. Because right now he's unstoppable. Mm. And so in Jamaica, we don't have that privilege like Donald Trump to go out there and Jamaica, American people don't, don't, don't go and fish and bread and, and cook food and, and um, box food and guzzler and shirt and so them go out for vote and pass whatever. So the whoever is, is running in America, they have to present proper, proper things mm -hmm. for the, for, to convince the people. But Jamaica now, you have some garrison and some people where Anjo, Control, and Mark, and PMP, and JLP, Stronghold, when they're ready for people for vote, then just go pack them up, put on clothes on them, pay them, and them go vote. And and I saw election around now. Mm -hmm. You just got pay one bunch of people, carry them for all over, give them ID, put them on voters list, and take them and pay them and then go vote and that's it. Yeah. And, and I saw America run. So because we're up against those strongholds in Jamaica, yeah, here is what's gonna happen. People like us and the church will have to rise up and go into fasting and prayer. Ah, uh, yes. And begin to usher out every evil force. So if we want the prime minister out. We can't go political. We have to go divine. Yes. If we want to shift the order. Mm -hmm. And it's not because, and I keep saying it, and I will say it again. I am not saying what I'm saying, Apostle, because I am JLP or PAP. No, no. Never none. Yeah. But I'm thinking about the future. I'm uh -huh. thinking about our children. Yeah. I'm thinking about our generation. I'm thinking about our nation. Mm -hmm. I'm even thinking for those fools who are running up and down crazy with their ass out the door. Naked, running up and down, goose lying, boomer making rum. Nice. Yeah, boom and rum. Mm -hmm. We are making conscious decisions for them mm -hmm. and for our future. So we're not making political statements. We're making statement that has tremendous, uh, 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 that's going to have, listen, what we know you don't know. And we're saying to this country, if we don't rise up, the sensible people, and make a stand 
for our country, then the whole we might have to pack up and go out of Haiti. Because okay. we'll be worse than Haiti. Mm. <laughs> you think I'm joking? My God. I said, I told you already, I tell you again, the Prime Minister need to re him should I really tell the people today what Jamaica will be up against and what is coming. Him, him should have up there tell the people how to prepare for the next pandemic. Instead of I, I try to impress Jamaicans with with how much money they're going to get this and how much this man do that, because none of that will make sense when you're dead. Because he know, he knows his Ministry of Health that is connected to who knows that that which they're coming with mm -hmm. is going to be more deadly than Corona. And he knows. You think they don't know? Oh my God. They know what the world powers are doing. They are full up to date. So don't so I don't watch when they come talking about they're gonna give raise a pay and they're gonna raise this and, and put on this and they're gonna fix this and they're gonna do all of that. Because they know many Jamaican people will not live to tell the tales. So they just give in political speeches. What they need to tell Jamaican people is that we need to prepare for what is coming. We need to set up more hospitals now. We yeah. need to provide beds now. You little foolish people. These men have billions of dollars spending on the road in care. I'll stop and I'll pay people for vote. And when your family is sick and go to the hospital, they'll have to one bed, then one tissue, and then one everything. And their family go home and come back. They call them and say, come back. When you go back, your family dead. Sitting on bench and chair for how much days, how much weeks, while the politicians have the money to buy you. You stupid, foolish people. And now they come in their, in their jacket suit in parliament having budget debate. And, and, and it's so sad that all they can do is roll out what they're going to do and how much they're going to give people this and give people that. Why don't you do it? Why don't you go and open up some hospitals, make some, some more bedroom space and put in some more infrastructure so that you can save more lives? And don't wait until now when you want people to vote. You come, these people. That's why many people don't vote, because people know the truth. Yes. So they don't even go out there and bother. They just try to survive. Because they know they're coming with a bunch of lies and a bunch of buying out. Because they, they, you see, that's the psychological thing that these politicians have over the people. Yes. If you come and tell the, 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 the people working at... Um, minimum wage mm -hmm. that they're gonna get two more thousand and three more they get excited and say oh great prime minister but what is two thousand or three thousand right. in jamaica at this time it's nothing because if you're sick that can't bring you to doctor bill you have doctors who are charging you half a million dollar for a surgery that you can do at the hospital for free but the hospital give you one year and six months to do it and the doctor says come to my practice tomorrow and get it done for half a million dollars yes that's the country we're living in and it's so sad. My God. That's why I want to meet with Marky G. I want to find out what plans he have for the church, plans he have for the, the children, what plans he have for the citizens and the people. Because I can give, I can decide the election in Jamaica. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you say? The Lord said, "You, I have the power. Mm. to determine which way the election in this country goes. Mighty God. You don't know? You don't believe me? Oh, yes, I believe you. <laughs> you don't understand the power of the prophet. Oh, yes. When we talk, people listen. You know, oh, yes. Do you know how many people's lives are saved right now? Any people are living because we told them not to take the jab? You know how many people who didn't listen to us is now dead? Mm-hmm. You know how many people are now sick and wish they had listened to us? Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, I can get up tomorrow morning and I can brave enough to tell the people exactly where they must do and, and I can galvanize and get people to make a, this, make a move in this country that will shift everything. Hallelujah. And I believe I can do it. Ah, yes. And if the needs be and the Lord give me the go-ahead, we'll do it. But I want to know, we're not going to do it just like that. Or just yet. But I know I have a great job to do. Because Jamaica is for Jesus and Jesus is for Jamaica. Amen. And God will not use politicians. He will use the preachers. Amen. He will use his prophet to make the change. 
Yes. It's not the politicians that's going to make the change. They're corrupt. They're evil, all of them. So it is us that's going to lead a movement. Ah, yes. Like Jesus did. Yeah. Change the world. You don't understand. Holy revolution. Holy revolution. Mm -hmm. And I can do Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. I can get people to join with me mm. across Jamaica to make one move yes. and everything shift. Hallelujah. They better know it. Mm. So the Prime Minister better just, he better just leave. He better be careful. If he messes with me, he's trouble. And Marky G better be careful. Yeah? If he don't listen, he's in trouble. God wants to know where his mind is at, yes. what he's doing. So now, here is why we are caught in this situation and I'm talking like this. There is no other choice than the two for leadership. Here is where Jamaican people is caught between. We see um, a party try to rise the other day. What did they do? Shut them down. I don't even know where the man is. I don't even see him again. I don't even hear about him. Where is Mr. Patterson? Mr. Patterson, where are you? <laughs> you said you were getting ready for election. Where is Mr. Patterson? We don't see him. Mm. In the local government, did he feel anybody? Did they? Did he run for a seat or nothing? Oh, I, I'm disappointed. So he uh, wanted me to join with him. No, and then I'm not even serious. He's so coward. They're gone. Where are they? Jesus. One one little prison. One little lock up and he disappear. Yes. So there is no other choice but the two. Mm -hmm. So either you're going to do one or the other. Jesus. So now we're going to have. You see, you remember when? When the people asked for a king, mm -hmm. and God was not ready to give them a king, but yes. they forced the hand of God. And so God gave them the best of who he could have found. Oh, yes. And that's how they end up with Saul. Uh -huh. You remember? Oh, yes. Okay. They asked for mm -hmm. And God said, all right. I'll give you. We'll give you. <laughs> but that was not the person no. God had in mind. Not the judge. And you see what happened with Saul? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's what happened. You see, when the PMP was in power, I knew Sister P time was up because mm -hmm. she was doing some stuff that was not in the will of God for Jamaica. Yes. And I prophesied that her time was up. She was going to be in trouble and she was going to be paid dearly. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened to her. As soon as she lost, she had to disappear. She took sick. And that was the end of Mama P. My God. Now, God put a family in place. Mm -hmm. In the Prime Minister, his wife, and the two sons, man yes. and woman. Yes. We see now where it has led now where they have become Ahab and Jezebel. Mm. And so what do you think God is going to do? Mm -hmm. Allow them to run the country direct? No. Come on. So the shift is going to take place. Mm -hmm. And it will not be a decision by the people. It will be a decision by God yes. to give us an opportunity to redeem ourselves. But we cannot redeem ourselves with an evil leader because God does not sanction evil kings. He get rid of them. Mm. So once there's an evil leader leading a godly country, it, 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 it is inevitable that God will step in and remove such person. So you, you are telling me major one. Yes that God is about to do something? Oh, yes. Something massive. Mm. If the peop if my people mm. who are called by my name, humble themselves, pray mm. and seek what? My face and turn. Yeah. I will what? Hear and heal the land. If God is going to heal the land, he have to remove evil. That's all. Yes. Okay. Pharaoh will drown. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, there's going to be so much things happening here on in that you're going to see. <laughs> you, you know, that the meeting that took place uh, a few days ago, mm -hmm. they said they, they're going to discuss about Haiti. Yes. You know, that there's, there, there, it's more than just Haiti they talk about in the meeting. Uh -huh. What you say? You see, immediately after the meeting, some things are rising. And gone back to, you know, the things that he, the people were saying, boy, they, they don't ready for it yet. He gone back to it now. My God. All right. Because 
you know, the Americans come down and have a meeting. Okay. I'm telling you. Oh, yes. God love this country, you know. Mm -hmm. Amidst the evil and the wickedness where people don't go on with. This is a godly country. Yes. And anybody rise up against God in this country must go down. Yes. And this leader rose up against God and the people of God in this country. So it is a must. It's inevitable. He could have charged fire. Mm. And it's not politics. It's principle. When a nation has a covenant with God, don't play with that country. Even if the nation sins, God is forgiving. God is merciful. That's Israel. Yes. Once they repent, God relent. Mm. If Jamaica repent, God will relent. Mm. And the people just need to stop following these men and start crying out to God. But because I know there's going to be a shift, I have also the opportunity and the responsibility to guide and to make sure whoever is coming in has the mind off yes. and will not be bought and sold the Jamaican people, but will take back. Mighty God. And so that is why I'm telling you, yes, I must meet with the opposition. So you, you, you say, Major, this is it for the Prime Minister. It's done. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Lord. He, the cannot, be moved by said, the he cannot be moved by the people uh -huh. because they're going to rig the system, which I told you they, that they tried to do it with the local government, but it was the system wasn't completely ready, so it backfired. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. They tried to rig it. They tried to, to, they tried to do a lot of stuff with the voting, with the people's rights. The people's rights in Jamaica who voted at a local government election was tampered with. Yes. Yes. It was tampered with. They take the people for fool. They tried to, after the people made their decision, they went in and was trying to change the order, to rig it up. Yeah. Mm. Because I told you that has to happen. But it backfired again. My God. And watch what's going to happen. Hey, but you don't see it. Yes. Which country have you ever seen? Are right here in Jamaica? The opposition caused the government to walk out of their house. Do you see the shift? You see what is happening? Oh yeah. They're coward. They're scared now. Yeah. Once the, once you have the enemy, bro God. Once you have the giant scared, yes. it's trouble. Bro God. Scared. Yes, he ran out of his own house. Mighty God. That's that's a sign of. Of, 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 of scared. That is not a, a man who is confident sitting in there with his, with his, no, 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 no. What did Mark said that to, to offend him so bad? Nothing. They should have done that. They should have, I blame them because they should have done what they did, what he said and what he did. They should have did from the beginning. Mm. But now is a great opportunity to do it because this is, this is the whatever time. And when you make a man run out of his own house, you what? You have the upper hand. Yeah. Yeah, you have it over him. Who can make me leave my house? Oh, Lord. Yes. Who can make me leave out of my house? Jesus. <laughs> you know, that's weakness. You don't see what's happening. The, the Prime Minister is getting weak, Major? For a long time. He's angry now. Mighty God. So he has a spirit of sorrow. He's only right now. He's only hardening his heart. So the spirit of the Lord depart from Saul. Depart from Saul, and, and Saul evil became angry. Spirit. An evil spirit take him over. So you are gonna see the prime minister doing some stuff that Jamaica is gonna marvel because he's gonna get. Even though he comes out now and he's presenting, but he's gonna do some crazy stuff. Jamaica is gonna be angry. So an evil spirit. An evil spirit. The, the evil spirit is already there once he sign over to the evil order. Uh -huh. The evil spirit is taking him, but it's going to start to manifest. Mighty God. In his actions. And then Jamaica will know. An evil spirit. Yes. Mm. An evil spirit. Oh, Lord. Remember, you know, I told you once, I was one who said it was wrong. You remember? Mm -hmm. To have a white, once that happened, I let it be clear. I mean, I just attack like Mark G. Yeah. We spoke it long time that the spirit of Jezebel and Ahab has taken over parliament. We said it, yes, from day one. 
we said it was a wrong move. We mm. did not. We here declared from that time yes. our disapproval mm. of that move. We not just said that. Yes. Because the move is a move more to protect. To protect the wrong. Jesus. Than to do right. And we know that. Holy Ghost. You see what happening now? Let me tell you how God good. Oh, God yes, right. yes, yes. You remember when this same government would try push and change the law to put Paula Llewellyn back in position? Yes. You see what is happening now mm -hmm. with the cartel situation? Yes. She's going to wish she was never there. Mm. My name is Mark Stewart, oh, a yes. dangerous prophet. I said, now the backfiring that is going to come to Paula in light of this case now, she's going to wish she had resigned at that time. Yeah. Mark my, my word. She's going to wish she never stayed there because they meant it for evil. <laughs> what am I say? You see what, how much backlash, how much fire, how much things is happening with her now with the cartel case. Mm. She's going to wish now she had taken the retirement, gone, pam, pam, uh, um, gone on the uh, icon of the sea and gone on vacation and go enjoy her blessing. But now she's in hot water. Yes. God now sleep. That's, that's the same thing that happened to the Prime Minister. Yeah? Yes. All the people that he has put in position, his wife, Paula, and all of them to protect him, all of them, you know, see so what is happening to them? People are now attacking them. But he put them there to protect him. And people are now attacking them. What do you think will happen to him when people attack them? It's going to weaken him. And so the whole system is going to be in problem. See, right now, our, our justice system is under serious scrutiny. Where are things going to happen? With she at the head, she's going to wish she had taken the retirement. I'm a prophet. We're not talking politics. We're talking divine yeah. things. See, you, you you believe that history is going to repeat itself uh, again? Trouble in the camp. Man of God, I'm not joke. Mm. Want all, you lose all. My granny said, want all, you lose all. So glad the brother Jesus. Trouble. Me. Jamaican people, we're not bluffing. We're not playing. We're talking to you. I could not pay the debt. And people have told me, Prophet Mark Stewart, don't make anybody stop you from saying what you're saying because you are one of the only brave preacher in this country that is brave enough to tell Jamaican people the truth. I've heard it. There's a lot of men of high position who know me, who listen to me, who say to me, you know the truth. Which? You speak the truth. Don't stop. Because one day Jamaican people will hear you and know you're speaking truth. The prime minister knows I'm speaking truth. Yes. He said it out of his own mouth. There's people around him. You check them. They're wondering how I know the truth. Mm. Because when he said to them, why this man that I said, but what the man is saying is true. Mm -hmm. How does he know? We don't know. But he knows the truth. Yeah. It is the truth. My God. Evil shall not reign mm. in a godly country. Ah, yes. Before God and all mankind. Mm -hmm. Eternal Father, bless our land. If we continue to stand on this pledge and this covenant, evil cannot succeed in Jamaica. Jamaica is for Jesus, and Jesus is for Jamaica. And we rise to remove from power and position anything and everyone who stand against God and the people of God in this land. I'm telling you. My father, my father. Come on, Jamaica. Oh, God. Presented his sacrifice 
So we're calling on all well-thinking citizens of this country. All God-fearing people of Jamaica. He I want... <laughs> I don't want to preempt. Go ahead, Major. Apostle. Yes. Have you got your voter's ID yet? I soon. I soon get mine. Have you applied for it? Yeah, I soon get mine, Major. Have you applied for it? Not yet. Apostle, please. Yes. Don't just say, go and apply for your voter's ID. All right, Major. Or, or you don't have no talk. Mm. If you don't have your voter's ID, you don't have no say. Yeah. No go, please. When you come back, because you have to get it before next year. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to vote, man. Yeah, so, vote so, but you is. can't vote if you don't No, vote. I'm telling you that I was supposed to vote in the local election, but because I, I went to fasting. Yeah. Because they, the guys, they, ha they have my, my thing. They have your thing? Yeah. And they say, you're coming to vote? Mm. I say, I can't come, I'm going to church. Okay. You're on the list? Oh, yes. I, I'm on the list. Okay. I am on the list. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you know. Oh, yeah, how about the list? Man? Because the people will say to us, why are you talking, but you're not acting? Oh, yeah. So when it comes on to the next election, I'm going to tell you, Jamaican people, people like us, will not just talk. Oh, yes. God will make a lot of Jamaican people. It's going to be, you remember when the last election, when so much American went out? It was historical. Yes. We're going to change the landscape. The next election was not be normal. Do you believe that the prime minister is going to resign? Resign? No, he can't resign. Yeah? No, he can't. All right. And his people would want to challenge him, but they can't because they're part of the system. He can't resign. So Because it's... what is at stake? If he resigns, he's he probably dead. So, so, the so, powers that be yeah. have him to carry out their plan. He can't resign. So what he has to rely on, he has to rely on the opposition to rise and he can say, well, the people voted me out. So he don't have no talk. But if he resign, he's in trouble. You have to pay back all them. Yeah, he has trouble, trouble, trouble. He can't do that. So, and, and you notice none of his people is challenging him, even though they know he has lost credibility. Because all of them are part of the plan to ensure that he goes forward. Mm -hmm. But the plan, the manner plan got away. So, 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 um, those six persons that is, you know, under investigation. Yes. You know, man of God, if, if, if one come up, mm -hmm. you know, and it is the, is the head of the, the nation, you know, what is that, right? Uh -huh. You have to resign. If what? Yeah, well, if, not if, if the information yes. comes out. Yes. Literally. Yes. It's going to be troubling you. Line up, going up to election, man of God. It's going to be problems, you know. They're oh, going to do everything in their power as they have done. Number one, if you notice, he has put his wife in the chair to protect him and his wife and others from this, from that yeah. res resignation. I'm telling you. All right. This was a strategic move, you know. If you notice, the wife comes in and one of the first things she did was to ensure that that information don't go the way it's supposed to go. Jamaican mm. people. Them only behave like them blind them and they, but them see what I go on. You think we are idiot? Yeah. You think Jamaican people are fool? They realize what is happening now, but them just not say nothing. Unlike me and you, we attack. She was put there for a specific job to cover up for them people and to make sure that she being the, the person in that chair has now the authority to ensure that certain information. And that is what Mark was talking about. That was what he was talking about that caused the walk away and sitting. Because you remember, the next thing he was coming to was exactly that. History shall repeat itself, okay. man of God. So, so Bruce was forced. Oh, yes. That's, yeah, that, that's the history I'm telling you. Okay. That's the history. Yeah. I'm a prophet. So you are saying 
before the election, yeah, he's gonna be having to force to resign. Well, watch what's gonna let happen. us see. He's not gonna be forced. All right, they're gonna try and 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 suppress and hide the information until the election. Mm, all right, but things March, are gonna sure. be revealed. Yes, but they're gonna work feverishly within their power. Yes, for this information and this situation not to escalate in that way. Mm. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see what happens with that. But one thing I know, whichever way it go, I this one. This is it for the the prime minister. Abe, hey, listen. When you have Jezebel and Ahab, mm -hmm. and you have a prophet, Jehu, Jehu, mm -hmm. huh? and Elisha. Yes. And God said, "Who Elijah couldn't kill?" Uh huh. All right. Good. Thank you. And, and when and when the word comes to the prophet, said Jezebel, Ahab, watch out. And now go down. You're, you're, what has happened? When we make those de biblical declarations, yes. what did Jezebel and Ahab do? They made the people worship mm -hmm. worship um, Baal, right? Yes. As they're worshiping this man. Yes, sir. Number two, they stole Nabat Vineyard, mm -hmm. which means they stole the people's blessing. Yes. From the people of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So in, they're walking in the same shoes. Yes. They kill, sacrifice the people, take their blessing. And now they're hiding the information for the truth not to come out. So they must be exposed. They must be revealed. So what's going to happen? My God. Okay, good. I could pray for them people. So they know what we thought. That's the thing there. Hallelujah. They don't want we talk about them things in this in this program. Yeah. And so we must preach gospel. He revealed the deep things to man. <laughs> he revealed to but, Daniel. But you cannot talk to Jamaican people of these things because their mind is so caught up into political um, diartedness that you cannot tell Jamaican people the truth. They're not going to accept it. They're not going to want the truth. And they're not going to believe it's the truth. They think we, right now there are many people listening to us and them they are idiot pastor they are chatting blah, 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 but them not leave with, with, with God the pro God and leave with, yeah but they don't understand what they're up against they're blinded they are under stronghold man of God documents is going to rise in a man of God uh -huh. hallelujah what you said the documents? serious documents is going to rise in a very soon, what you saying? Jamaica will see it. Mm. Jesus. Wow. What is a person saying? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Jesus. Mm. My God, my Father. Oh, Jesus. My God, what is this? Yes, sir. It's got to go crazy. Mm -hmm. This is breakthrough. This is the prophet we oh, got. Four minutes after 11, we got to go to prayer. Apostle, got to pray for Jamaica. I want all the warriors, everybody. We got to start the war. We got to start to pray. We got to gather the saints. We got to set the church in order. They're going to affect the church. They're going to want to stop the church and the move of God. Got to finish at 12 country. Got a lot to do tomorrow. So we won't be long. But sometimes we come on here. Folks, I know a lot of people say to me, even my own church member, don't go down that road. Just stick to whatever. But you see, we have a mandate. And the word of God says, if the watchman see the danger and don't warn, we're going to be in trouble just the same. Because we're in the land, you know. Because we're living in the country here yeah. you know, and we are, we are feeling, you know, when I realize how much of us, we have to rise and pay so much tax. Yeah, because they, they, they So leave. much things. And some of them people are not paying nothing. Yeah. They might take free tax money where we are here and I feed them for vote for them. They drive fear in the people. And drive fear in the people. That's why this people is speaking like that. So when we talk, we have to talk not just religious mm -hmm. but we have to talk for our rights and the right we have children here too you know hallelujah 
we have family here mm. and here we live. So you can't expect, say, we're going to get up every day and see things that happen in our country and talk, but we are just going to preach Bible and preach. We have to talk as it's biblical mm -hmm. for people like us who are sensible, who, who can see the things with critical eyes to share them with you mm -hmm. and to open your eyes to the truth. If you don't want it, that's your business. So whatever happens, Jamaica, you can't say you're never here. You can't say the truth were not, was not given to you. And because many of you are in fear, you don't want us to talk. Yes, yes. Uh, but we got to speak truth. And whatever we see, we got to reveal. Mm. Trouble is in the camp. My God, my Father. Mighty God. Are you ready, Apostle? Hallelujah. Ready when you're ready, me hate your one. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's prayer time. Amen. Hallelujah. It's prayer time. Warriors, arise. It's prayer time. Anoint yourself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. My Father. I worship your name, Jesus. My God, my God. I exalt your wonderful name. Mm. You are the ancient of days. Jesus. Come on, people, right? Lord, you are our coverage. Jesus. Lord, you are the rock in a weaver land. Mm. Awesome and mighty king. I worship your name, Jesus. The Bible declares in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 15 says, Of whom the whole family in the earth, in heaven and earth, is named. Jehovah God. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Lord, I thank you tonight that central never busy. You are always on the line. I can call to you at any time, Father. Jehovah God, I thank you tonight for the listening ears. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your ears is open unto the cry of the righteous. Almighty God, we bow in prayer tonight, Lord. We have confidence that, Lord, you are going to answer our prayers tonight. Jehovah God, right now, Father, as I pray, Oh, God, for your children across the land and across the world. I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ right now, Lord, will begin to circulate and cover your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, tonight, Lord, I pray 
that God, your angels, will be released in the four corners of this land in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Almighty God, that the angels of Almighty God will locate every partner that's connected to this program tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, I pray that you show up, Lord, in Jamaica. Lord Jehovah God, we cry out, O oh my Father, O oh God, from the end of the earth tonight. Jehovah God, we call you from Jamaica tonight. Father God, we need you, Lord God Almighty, to show up, Lord. Father, you declare, my God, in Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14, God, you said that my people which are called by my name shall arm themselves and pray. Come on. Turn from the wicked ways, God. You said you'll hear from heaven. You'll forgive our sins, Almighty God, and you'll heal the land. Lord, we need a healing. Jehovah God, our land is corrupt. In every year, we are mighty God, corruption. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cry as intercessor for healing, my God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, the blood of our brothers crying from the earth. Almighty God, so much killing my father in the the name of Jesus Christ, but God, as we cry out, my God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, my Father, that Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of the risen Lamb, Lord God Almighty, will begin, my Father, to reverse and release, in the name of Jesus Christ tonight, Lord, my Father and my God, we cry out, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, uh, oh God Almighty, help us tonight. Uh, show up, Lord God, in Jamaica, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, my Father and my God. Uh, Lord God, I stand, uh, oh my God, as me, my stand, uh, Lord God Almighty, uh, Lord, and as He pray, as He intercede, Lord, uh, my God, the walls. Uh, Oh God, Lord, Jerusalem was ruined, and my God, the city was in reproach, and my Father, oh God, Lord Jesus Christ, the land, oh God, was in a mess, and God, he prayed, and Father, Lord Jehovah God, the Spirit of the Lord lead him, God, to bring restoration, oh God, to his homeland in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, I pray, Jehovah God, that you raise up restorer. I pray, mighty God, that in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, as you raise up your children tonight, Father, I pray, Lord God, that we begin to start to build. We begin, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God Almighty, we begin to move now and begin. Lord God, to cause a change in the name of Jesus Christ. We rise up as transformers tonight. We rise up as world changers tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, the land need a change. The land need a term. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, I pray, my Father, that God Almighty will cause a paradigm shift. you will cause a turn in the nation of Jamaica. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah. Oh, your God tonight, Lord, I pray that the heavens will open over the land. I pray, my God, that angels now will begin, Lord God, to descend and ascend. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the angels of fire. I pray for the angels, mighty God, with the six wing. I pray right now, oh God, that that 
angel will begin to move across the land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, you says the angel of the Lord shall encamp it round about them that fear your God. You said there's a few in Sardis which defile not their garments in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. And as we cry out, Lord, I pray right now that your presence now will begin, my God, to move in the nation of Jamaica in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, hear our cry. My Father, my God, show up for us tonight. We bow our knees, oh God. You says when sorrow arise, Lord God Almighty, I come to talk to you. Lord Jehovah God, many need you tonight across the land of Jamaica. And as they connect to this broadcast, Lord God Almighty, we rise up tonight knowing God that the weapons of our warfare is not carnal but God it is mighty true you Lord to the pulling down of strongholds Lord God we can send strongholds when we move in Lord God to and from in the nation of Jamaica Lord God tonight Lord I pray my father that the angels of the Lord Michael and Matura Basaya, the angels of war, the angels that fight battles in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray right now that, that the angels will begin to move now in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God tonight, Lord God as we shine first, Lord Jehovah God, you says mighty God, when the saints begin to pray. Lord God, then you says the Lord shall have his way in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, sovereign Lord, that you'll have your way tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, my God, all over. In the name of Jesus, have your way in the life of our partners now. Have your way, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, tonight, as I rise up in prayer, I pray, mighty God, that you will cover the homes, Lord, cover the family, in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil will not find them tonight. The devil will not locate. Lord God, they are just tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. But I pray, mighty God, you will cover them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, the devil will not find none of our family members. Because, mighty God, the sixth will angel covers them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, as I pray, La Bushantari there, the enemy will not penetrate. Lord God, your children tonight, because mighty God, the power of God, the wall of fire, oh God, is all around them. In the name of Jesus Christ, sovereign God tonight, I pray, Lord Jesus, that God Almighty it will assign the demon. Lord God, that is assigned to destroy your children, to stop Italia, every agent from hell that has been assigned to stop the blessing and to stop the breakthrough of your children. I pray tonight, Lord, that that demon now will begin to fall in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as I pray, my Father, my God, right now, Jesus, Oh God Almighty, Rabbi Shantai, principalities and powers that has been released, Lord God, to stop now, Lord, the opportunity, Lord Jehovah God, and the breakthrough of your sons and your daughters tonight, we intercept them, we trample them, we crush them, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, tonight, I pray that you hear my prayers. Come on, intercessors, pray on. 
Come on, pray on now. Rise up and pray. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, every devil that has been released in the land to put up, oh God, a fight against God's people. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we shut them down. Lord, we crump them. We paralyze them. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray right now that demons will begin to have heart attack and drop and die. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, tonight, Lord Jesus Christ, oh God Almighty, every stronghold, every powers of darkness, Lord God, you are coming down tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah God, as I pray now, my Father, my God, right now, Fizakuta, release your power in the name of Jesus, Lord God, you are a God that answer a prayer, answer somebody prayer tonight, deliver somebody, Rabo Shatai, Rabo Santaribia, Rabo Shatanaya, Rabo Sakuria, there's 500 people here tonight, I hear the Lord says, God is going to open that door, God is going to do it for you now, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, Lord Jehovah God tonight, I pray for your children, Lord God bring clearance to their life, oh God, in the name of Jesus, my Father and my God, as I stand upon your infinite word, in the name of Jesus, Lord, many are under attack, Lord God, many are in war for you, but I pray tonight, you told Jeremiah, they shall fight against him, but they shall not prevail, in the name of Jesus Christ, every demons and devils that is fighting your children, Lord God, tonight, they shall not prevail, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray tonight, my Father and my God, you will send an anointing, an anointing God, that will rip and destroy, Lord God Almighty, the devices, and my God, Rabo Shanda, Satan, oh God, Rabo Shai, Mande Kosaya, Kati, Katanda, in the name of Jesus, yes Lord, thank you now, I feel a release of somebody, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, come true for somebody, come true Lord, Come true, Messiah, Kata, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you now, God, that you are delivering your children from the sphere of the fowler and from the nice and pestilent. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, every chain, Lord, every rope, every demonic hook that hook in your children, God, and that is pulling them, Lord. Lord God Almighty, from the blessing that is pulling them from their doors, their opening doors, Lord, that is pulling them, Lord God Almighty, oh, from that, oh, that opportunity that you have for them, every power that is pulling them backward, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that force, Lord God, to loose them now, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God. I stand as an intercessor, and God, I pray now that, Lord Jesus Christ, you will enter that home. Lord God, you'll bring a turn. You'll enter that business. Oh, God, bring a kutaya. Labo Shantia. In the name of Jesus, I pray for divine favor to show up for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, every powers of darkness that is fighting the favor of God for your children tonight. I pray, my Father, that Lord, that power now, oh, Kataya, will begin to kabusha, will begin to release now. Zika Somebody pray on in the mighty 
name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, tonight I raise my voice like a thunder in the earth realm. I raise my voice in the name of Jesus. Lord God, tonight, Lord, we are depending on you, Lord. Somebody tonight have confident, Lord. Somebody tonight is trusting in you, Lord. And God, you say, Father, they that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be removed, but abide forever. In the name of Jesus, every force is a darkness that want to remove your children. In the name of Jesus, that force is a darkness. Lord, now God will be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, my Father and my God, they will not be removed. In the name of Jesus, your children will not be removed. In the name of Jesus Christ, your husband will not be removed. Your wife will not be removed. Your business will not be removed. In the name of Jesus, your ministry will not be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, Reba Satan, but they will be like a tree that planted by the rivers of living water. They shall bear fruit, bring forth fruit in their true season. The leaves shall not wither, but whatsoever they do it shall prosper. God, yes, God. They shall prosper. Basuti Kimba in the name of Jesus Christ as an intercessor of the land. I speak right now prosperity. I speak blessing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My Father, my God, let there be an explosion. Lord Ketunda Satan in the life of your children. Somebody help me pray on in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God tonight, Father, I stand and as I pray, Jehovah God, let me be a move tonight that I've never seen before in the name of Jesus in the life of your children Holy Spirit of God let it happen tonight Ula bazenda le boguje, sanda la bakushambia. Ula basaya sino roboshai kataya. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, tonight I pray, my Father, that right now, Jesus, you will touch down, you will deliver your children, my Father, yourselves. When the poor cry, you says you hear the righteous man, you will hear the poor man, and you will deliver the poor man, Lord God, tonight, somebody's crying out, Lord, hear the cry, Lord, Jehovah God, deliver them tonight, Lord, deliver them from the forces of darkness, deliver them from the evil man, deliver them, Lord God Almighty, from the tormentation of evil powers. I pray right now for somebody to me. I pray for their belly in the name of Jesus. Someone in this broadcast, your, your belly is under attack right in your navel. But I pray right now every penetration in the name of Jesus at this very hour concerning your body. Every 
every force is a darkness, wherever they penetrate in you from, in the name of Jesus, I disconnect, in the name of Jesus, I call for the scissors of Almighty God, I cut you loose now, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, you declare, in your word, in St. Matthew 21, Lord, you told two of your disciples, you says, go into the village, you see a coat tied, Lord God, loose him, and bring him to me, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, tonight, Lord, as I pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, anyone, my God, that is tied, in the name of Jesus, from the spirit of failure, Lord, we cut them loose now, in the name of Jesus, anyone that is tied, Almighty God, and the Katuria Baha, yes, and the Kushaya, and the Bosata, and stagnation tonight, it must be broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anyone that is tied, oh God, unto saltness, my God must be delivered in the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, Katubashaya, come on, Stakumaya, come on, move around and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, I rise up, Lord, oh God, in one room tonight, in the name of Jesus, somebody pray, the anointing of prayer is here tonight. The anointing of Christ is here in the mighty name of Jesus. You declare, my God, in Exubah Keta Rabasanda, in Exodus, my God, chapter 3, Lord, mighty God, you told Moses to go and tell the children of Israel that I am that I am sent to you in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, tonight, as we have an encounter with you, Lord. Lord God, let me be a loosing tonight. Let me be a deliver. Oh, yes, Lord. Deliver your children tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, every Egyptian altar must collapse tonight. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, bring them down tonight. Sovereign God, many want to move forward, but they can't move forward because there's a blockage Tonight, Lord God, I pray, my Father, that you'll send forth the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus. Let it pass through the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, I pray for somebody. See it tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, I'm seeing somebody. See it under attack. Lord God, I pray that you'll deliver them, dip them in the blood, release them tonight, in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, as I pray, Lord, tonight, Jehovah, Abba Father, hear us tonight, deliver us tonight, in the name of Jesus, oh my God, pray our cause tonight, in the name of Jesus, oh my God, Almighty, stand up for somebody else, tonight. Lord God, let the angels stand right now in the name of Jesus. Stand up in that house. The angel of the living God. Begin to war. Begin to fight. Begin to reach war at this very hour. In the name of Jesus. These are the time when the chanters have arrived. These are the time when they are chanting mighty God in different eras. But I pray you tonight, every enchantment, Rabba Santa, Lord God, I pray you will dismantle every enchantment against our destiny, every enchantment against right now our progress, every enchantment in the name of Jesus, in the near son of Jamaica, every enchantment against your children tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, tonight, Lord, in 
concern me. Lord God Almighty, Rabba Satai, scatter them in the name of Jesus. You says they shall gather, but not by you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, every gathering against your sons and your daughters, I pray God, you will scatter them tonight. In the name of Jesus, this man could them tonight. Ambush them tonight. In the name of Jesus, somebody rise up and pray. Rise up and pray and push them tonight. Every strong man that don't want to release your children and push them tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah God. Right now, release your power and the anointing. Hela Bushantai, Hila Yamba Senosa, Lebe Kushatai, Ribabo Shantiala. Sande Koshaya, Hello Moshai Kadaya, in the name of Jesus Christ, every demon operating behind our problem, that demon now will fall down and die in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, right now, Father, I pray, my God, somebody has been stuck, somebody has been back by the enemy tonight. But Father, I pray right now, Jesus, you will uproot, you will release them in the name of Jesus Christ, sovereign God, my Lord, that never feel me. You always hear me. I pray tonight that you will come down to Rabashenda, Somebody pray on in the name of Jesus. Everyone that can show the region must release it tonight. Everyone that can show the nation must release it tonight. Everyone that tampering with your documents, tampering with your marriage, must release tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, you says in Acts 16. And verse 16, you said there was a damsel, Lord God Almighty, that was operating with a divination spirit, a python spirit, Lord God Almighty, Adakushai, I say, Rabo Sentai, Rabo Satyan, a palm reader, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, deceiving the people, a prayer right now, every python spirit that wrap up the region, that rule the region and the siege, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, every divination, every form of witchcraft, anything that rule it, but see no shy, somebody pray, Zatarabakushande, Rabo Shaya Basi. Hello, Shanda, every python spirit, Lord God Almighty, that it is hiding to attack your children. Lord, I call forth the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and a sever and a cut off the head in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that wrap and tie in the name of Jesus that is pulling out your family. Tonight I attack the spirit of the python in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, Shanda Bose, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God, that deadly serpent, that python spirit that is releasing God, is venom to kill and destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise so tonight, 
out anything that wants to destroy your body. Rabba Satan, I destroy it tonight in the name of Jesus. In the spirit of infirmity that want to destroy your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, tonight, Lord, let the blood of Jesus, let the fire of God be released now. We call for it the stone of fire. Lord, in Psalm 11, in the name of Jesus, the Python spirit, we sever your head tonight. Loose hold in the name of Jesus. Rabba Satai, Rabba Santuridia, Liba Sakura. Lord God Almighty, we rise up, my God. This Python spirit, Lord God Almighty, must release your children tonight. Ekimpai, I speak to the Python spirit and this bright cash that hold your people, Lord God, captive in the name of Jesus, that is pulling out the energy, your python spirit, in the name of Jesus, your sucker spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I attack you tonight, Rabba Shatan, Riboshai Katai, Rabba Shentura, Lebesaya, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, you declare in your word, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a soul mind. We take authority over that serpent spirit. You said, Behold, you give me power to tread upon serpent and scorpion, libasatal, and all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us, mighty God, mighty God. Somebody pray with me now. Somebody pray with me. Katai, Raboshak. There's a prayer meeting at the riverside now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba And as Paul, mighty God, they went to the riverside. Lord God Almighty, with those ladies to have prayer meeting. Lord God, the anointing begin to move. In the name of Jesus. Every chain tonight that have your people in bondage. In the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, in this war prayer meeting, it must be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone tonight that is in demonic prison and locked down must be released tonight. In the name of Jesus, every documents and papers that is under lockdown tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, that bar must be broken, that padlock must be loose. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we pray now. Lord God Almighty, we expose the python. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God Almighty, somebody pray with me. In the name of Jesus, every python spirit that is fighting your door from open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command right now that fight and demon must be crushed across your head. Ribasai, Labasantai, Commandusa, Endoboshatai, Yuboshayabaha, lose that marriage, you fight and spirit that wrap around that marriage, wrap around that family, pulling out everything. Zigadabusa, Zatadabadose, Zatandadabaha, Rebekosan. Somebody pray with me. Rabba Sakyanda, Rabba Shai Gata, Rabba Satande, mighty men of war, rise up in battle now. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, tonight, Lord Jesus, show up, Lord God, upon this broadcast. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray tonight, sovereign God, somebody will. It's key up, Lord. Somebody tonight, Lord God Almighty. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The python is releasing somebody. 
The Python I release somebody. The Python I release somebody. The Python spirit I release somebody. Yeah. The power of witchcraft is releasing somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare enough is enough. Shatalabai. Enough is enough. Labasendai. Mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Labo Shakyanda. Lord God, somebody tonight in the rear of the land is saying enough is enough. Somebody's on this broadcast. He's saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. Lord God, we need a release tonight. We needed a show tonight. Holy Kusikataya. Rabba Shantalabaya. Rebebebebe Kotandia. Shanda de Bosaya. I feel a Kairos now, man. I feel a Kairos hour now. I feel a moving now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Lord. I pray right now, Jesus. Oh God, the Kun Messiah, which she has so demons and devils out of the life of the people in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, there was a story in Mark 5. There was a man that was bound by evil spirit, Lord Jesus Christ. But when Jesus showed up on the scene, Lord God Almighty, he came on a mission to release the spirit. Man, in the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, this man of a legions of demon, but my father, Lord Jesus Christ, when you show up, Lord, mighty God, you silent every demonic force and release the man in the name of Jesus. Every demon tonight that has been assigned to hold your family captive, I command the power to be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we plead the blood and fire tonight. We run out every evil spirit out of your house tonight. Every evil spirit that has been attached to you to cause tormentation and to cause sickness in your body. In the name of Jesus, we run out that demon of suicide. Rabbi we command that demon of suicide who are you captain? Lose hold now in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, my father, that demon, Akin Kabos, and Sokabos, that demon, husband spirit, wife spirit, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth, that demon that been assigned from hell, we shut you down, we lock up hell mount in the name of Jesus, every apparition of Lucifer, we shut you down tonight. Yibasai Katai, Rabashandai, in the name of Jesus, you come to destroy, you come to kill, but I pray tonight that God's people shall not die, but they shall live and they shall declare the works of the Lord in the Kabunda Saya, Rabasende, Rabushan. Rebe Katanda, Rabba Sita, Rabba Sanda, Nikasai, you shall live. You shall live. You shall live. You shall live. Man in the hospital, you shall live. Rabba Kushata, lady that have the pampas on, you shall live. Katadaba, Rabba Sandia, Rabo Shanta, Yebasa, Lebo Shanta, the flesh eater that is eating up the flesh of the woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, you spirit of death, I curse you from that life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I Shut you down. You spirit of death. Kasata laba ushende. Sanda labo shatai. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Father and my God, I thank you now that the hand, Lord God, the spirit of death 
is leaning in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I thank you now, Jesus, that God Almighty, you are doing Rabu Sanda, a powerful job now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabu Santa, Rabu Kushatya, Rabu Santa, Yakya, in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, I pray tonight, in the name of Jesus, sovereign God, I stand and I begin to move. Somebody begin to move in your home. Somebody begin to move around. Anywhere you are, begin to move. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's a moving now. Lord God, you says, we shall trample the lion and Adah under our feet tonight. In the name of Jesus, you declare in Romans 16, 20. Lord God, you said the God of peace shall bruise Satan under our feet chocolate. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bruise the head of Satan tonight. We crush his head tonight. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, sovereign Lord and King. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, I stand up tonight for your children. I declare war against hell. I declare war against poverty. I declare war against affliction. I declare war against stagnation. I declare war against setback. I declare war against pain and sorrow. I declare war tonight in the name of Jesus Christ against the sorcerer. I declare war tonight against right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My father, my God, every necromancer, we shut them down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anyone that is releasing curses against your children tonight, we shut down your powers in the name of Jesus, sovereign God. We call for the seraphim and the children. We call for the high power angel. We call now, descend and come and help me fight in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray on. Somebody pray on tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, warriors, pray. Zata Labahunde, Rabba Shakyanda, Rabo Shatai. We summons tonight every sorcerer. We summons them to our judgment room in the name of Jesus. We summons every wicked man to our judgment room. We summons right now. Rabba Shakyana, every high priest and priestess to our judgment room. We summons wicked man. We summons them. It's no time to be judged. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, your people must be released tonight, Lord. In the name of Jesus, as I engage battle, as I fight for them, in the name of Jesus, upon this broadcast tonight, your people must be free. Your people, mighty God, the enemy must release them. In the name of Jesus, every mountain God that hold your children captive, every valley God that hold your children captive, in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to the mountain, I speak to the rock, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to Calabar. Rabba Satana, Rabba Satai, Hepe de Lemenda, Santa de Badun Satai, Rabba Tandelusai, Rabba Sakundai, Rabba Satanamande, Rabba de Munde Katai, Rabba Satanaba, Rabbi Katanabande, Rabbi de Lemenda, Santa Rabba Kutandia, Rabba Satanale, Ziki de Lemenda Kata, Rabba Santanabaya, Mandarabo Satai, Rabba de Lemenda, Zat. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, I hear a sound, my God, a sound of war. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, I stand as a brazen wall and a fight, Lord God, for your people to land. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand as I am pillow. In the name of Jesus, I shake down. 
every evil wall in the name of Jesus Christ. I crush the head of the destroyer tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah God. Somebody pray now. Somebody pray on. Every evil seat in your region, every evil seat in the nation, we command the thunderbolt of Almighty God. Come on, somebody pray. Somebody pray on in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody rise up tonight. Rise up and pray with me. There's power here. There's anointing here. Zato Rabbi. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're coming up tonight. I hear the Lord say you're coming up in the name of Jesus. You're coming up and loose anywhere they bury your clothes in the name of Jesus Christ. In that parkunda, I see my say, I see a foundation. They bury you, they tie you up. Zibazak, Bravo Shandala. But in the name of Jesus, I pray you up tonight. I release you tonight. I take charge of the atmosphere in the name of Jesus Christ I push back I drift back in the name of Jesus I drive back I drive them back I drive them back Hey, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who will not your peace at this hour, who will not your peace, oh God, but I pray, my Father, you will rise up for your children, who will not your peace now, you can't hold your peace now, somebody depending on you, somebody waiting on you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Santa Rabahaya, Shulaba Sande, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, tonight, as I pray, as you connect to this broadcast, Lord God, somebody, light is turning around. Somebody tonight, you're coming up now. As Elijah, Labo Satya, told the sons of the prophets, he says, show me where the axe fell. In the name of Jesus, he picked a piece of steak and he stirred it up. Come on, hallelujah. There's a story in the spirit realm. You're coming up tonight. Your vision coming up. Hey, Messiah. Yes, Holy Ghost. Your family coming up now. In the name of Jesus. Everything that you have lost is coming back. In the name of Jesus Christ. I take it back. To cry up. In the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I thank you now that your children is coming up, Lord. I thank you now that your children. Yeah. You're finding back your seat of power. You're finding back your seat of favor. You're finding back your seat of opportunity. You're finding back your seat of promotion. You're finding back your seat. Liba dala bazende, zadala bakusandia. In the name of Jesus, your children finding back your seat. Your children finding back their rightful seat. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray you back to your seat. In the name of Jesus Christ, Bravo Shaddai. In the name of Jesus, right now I pray you back into that seat, that job now, that job that will turn your life around. I pray you to that job. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray you to the seat of elevation. I pray you to the seat now in the name of Jesus. My God Almighty. I pray you to the seat of a citizen of that land. I pray you to the seat in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. My God and my Lord. I pray you to the seat, young girl, in the name of Jesus. Young man, I pray you to that seat now. That seat, Rabba Sanda of a teacher, that seat of a principal, that seat of a manager, Kitala Bo Shandada Bose. 
Sanda da bo shekata. Rula da 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 bo shataya. Yasakunda da ba. Somebody seat is under warfare. My God Almighty. Somebody is in battle tonight. Somebody is coming up against warfare. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray you to not seat now. In the name of Jesus. Rabo shataya ba. Rebe In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty Jesus. You said we are seated with you in heavenly places. I pray about your people to that position now. I pray them into their seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your rightful seat. I hear the Lord. Yes, take your position. Take your seat now. In the name of Jesus. That seat that is above principalities and powers. That seat now. Take your seat. Somebody is taking their seat now. Take your seat. Rabba, as we go to midnight, take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Sit in your seat. In the name of Jesus. David, tell me from Sit in your seat. Sit around the table. All the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Sit in the seat. In the satire. Right now. Sit in the seat. In the name of Jesus. You're a king's child. Sit in the seat now. And be Begin, my God Almighty, to live. Sit in the seat and begin to bloom. Sit in the seat and begin to be established. Sit in the seat and begin to rise. Sit in the seat now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, yes, I see seats. I see a lot of seats. Holy Ghost. I see a lot of seats in the name of Jesus. And chop up your seat, sit, Rabba Zende. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pilot seat, sit, Rabba Kataya. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, sit in the seat, Rabba Saya. Sit in the seat, Rabba Sude. Oh, God, God Almighty Jesus. Yes, God, thank you now. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. This miracle is permanent. Libasaya. Receive a permanent miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. This miracle that God is about to release to you. I hear the Lord says it is permanently. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive. Receive. Nothing can stop it again. Receive. Receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That you are turning life around. Today has a rise to see a new day. Lord God, as we connect now, we pull resources from the heavens. In the name of Jesus, I will rise up to see a new day. May the Lord cover you. As you rise up to see a new day, may the Lord favor you. As you rise up to see a new day, may goodness and mercy follow you. Overtake. All the days of your life. Every day of your As you rise up to see a new day. Yes, may good news hit you. As you rise up to see a new day. God shall cover you. The enemy shall not find your children. The enemy shall not find your address. They shall not locate you. Because you are soaked in the blood of the risen lamb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father we thank you. Thank you my God. Thank you for the turn. Your miracle is permanent. In the name of Jesus. Wow, your miracle. In Shatalaba. Thank you, Jesus. Your miracle is permanent. It's not temporary. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. It's permanent. Jesus. My God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Receive permanent miracle. Receive permanent miracle. Receive permanent miracle. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Things that you could not do, begin to do it now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Father. My God, my Father. Jesus, thank you, Father. Wow. Hallelujah. Yes, you are the Lord. Jesus. Come on, somebody declare God to be Lord. 
Your permanent miracle is not temporary. God says, I'm going to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah! I'm going to remove your enemies yes. while I bless you on the land. Hallelujah! I'm going to give it to you. Permanent. Hallelujah. Permanent inheritance. Hallelujah! Somebody get ready for a permanent position. Yes, Your yes. position is temporary. Yes, Major. But I hear the Lord says there's a permanent position. Mighty God. You're about to be transitioned. Hallelujah. To your permanent position. I said you're about to be transitioned. My God. To your permanent position. Yes, I hear you prophetically. prophetically. Somebody get ready. Elevation. From Egypt to Canaan, permanent place. If you get there, my God, it is permanent. My God, my God, Jesus. my brother. Jesus, yes, you are. The God. My God, it is that for five minutes after twelve o'clock. It's War Room Thursday. Boy. By the way, I want to remind you that Vanessa Barrett uh, Ministry presents God's Glory Carrier International Women's Conference theme, The Birthing Room Experience, 1 Samuel 120. Saturday, March 23rd, that's this Saturday, 2024, at 11 a.m., $2,000 Jamaican. Location, the Arians Restaurant, Shop 12, Spanish Town, uh, Spanish Villa, Plaza, Twickenham Park, Spanish Town. Hosted by Pastor Vanessa Barrett. The Burton Room Experience. Are you ready? I am inviting everyone who can make it to this great experience. Vanessa Barrett is coming out of Arizona and that's where we'll be going in June and that's where we went last year. Powerful book writer, powerful woman of God. Hallelujah. Please go over and support. Come over and support this Saturday. Right there in Twickenham Park at the restaurant there. Make sure you did it. $2,000, it will be worth it, I promise you. Yeah. All right, God bless you. Go out and support. God is God every time. Remember the fish fry coming up today in Mandeville. We're heading that way in preparation. It's going to be awesome. Of course, later on tonight, we head over there in South Manchester supporting Apostle Marshall and family. And tomorrow we'll be there at the funeral also. Sunday, make sure you get ready for church. Huh? We've got Sunday morning coming up. Uh, Prophet Joshua will be with me right here. Hallelujah. And then it's going to be powerhouse. Get ready for convention. Thank you. It's the breakthrough. Remember to continue to sow that 10,000 covered and seed. Yes. It is very important and critical that you do so in support of our ministry, our breakthrough, our development, and our work for the Lord. You shall be richly blessed. Hallelujah. What a night. We give God the praise. We give God the glory. Once again, folks, remember, we're not political. We're dynamic. We're powerful. We're prophetic. And so tonight, we thank God for the words that have been gone for the prayer. We have a team tonight. My God, my Father, we continue to bless God. Join me right here on Sunday morning, 5 till 10. We're coming in. Montego Bay, Savlamar. We're coming true. Yes, you are the Lord. Amen. Father God, every time. We have powerful service Sunday morning. Yes. Amen. We we have three words that we're looking at, Bishop. Yes. We we're looking at transcend. Uh -huh. And we're looking at transformation. Uh -huh. And we're looking at transit. My God. So we that's where we that's where we want the ministry yes. to begin to. Transcend. transcend yes transit and transit wow. to another level my god and transformation ah that's where we're going in this season and all those who are not saved yes not yet baptized oh not yes you're the child of god a transit meet us it's time for transition yes sir. from a sinner 
to a yes. born again Amen. believer. Yes. So come with join with us at Breakthrough Portmore this Sunday. Definitely, we're working on having baptism. Breakthrough Portmore, Montego Bay, of course, every Sunday. Hallelujah. And the rest of churches. But join us. Looking forward to see you in one of our churches this week at Jamaica Restoration BPHD Ministries, Jamaica and UK. On my UK massive, we say good morning, good day to you. God bless you. Have a great morning. Have a great rest of the week. And may God peace be with you upon you until we meet again on Sunday morning. God bless you. Have a great one. Those on YouTube, Facebook, all are massive. God of God every time. God bless you. Bless your heart. Yes, you are. Yes, you are.